Yo, what's up guys? Today we're gonna be installing the Geyser Half Windshield Diffuser and Radius Rod Pull Plate. Let's get it. is the windshield diffuser. So let's unpackage it and see what we got. All right guys, so what you're gonna receive in the package is two screens, two backing plates, the hardware to mount the diffuser and the backing plates, center garnish and its hardware, a sticker, and just like Twix, there is a left and a right, so pay attention to the orientation. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your backing plate Put it on the back side here, put it underneath, put the hardware through the front, tighten your hardware, and move on to the center garnish. After you've loosely hung your hardware, take a 3 30 seconds Allen wrench, a 3 8 wrench, snug up your hardware. Now that we've completed tightening up all the hardware, we're going to be installing the diffuser, test fitting it, marking where we're going to be drilling our quarter inch hole, installing the hardware, and completing our install. To install the diffuser, you must lift up the plastics here, slide it down until it bottoms out. Make sure the center of the diffuser lines up with the center of your hood. Make sure it's equally spaced on both sides, lining up with the roll bar. Again, confirm that it's all the way down. Once you are satisfied, take something to mark the location of the hole you'll be drilling and proceed to drill your quarter inch hole. Once you've completed drilling your holes, clean off the area of any debris. Take your hardware with your first washer, drop it into the hole, install your second washer, and tighten up the hardware. Next, we're gonna be installing the geyser radius rod pull plate. The only tools you'll be needing is a jack that can lift the vehicle high enough to get the tires off the ground, and an 18 millimeter to remove the six bolts that hold the current radius rod pull plate. Let's get started. And so the key to this installation is to jack the vehicle up just to where the tires are touching the ground, which will enable you to remove the pull plate easily and install your new pull plate with a little bit of work. And it really is just that simple. Now we have a nice new hand TIG welded radius rod pull plate that sets you apart from the others. Well, that's going to be it for this one, guys. I got a lot more content coming your way, so stay tuned. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.